everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up and run Video SDK's React Native example. This example includes an extensive readme containing all the different features and a brief guide on how to set up and run the example. The setup for this project includes signing up on Video SDK's dashboard and familiarizing yourself with a few concepts like API key and token. The prerequisites for this project include React Native version 0.59.10 or later, Node version 10 or later, a valid Video SDK account, Java Development Kit version 8 or later, Android Studio, a physical or virtual mobile device running Android version 5 or later, Xcode version 10 or later, CocoaPods and a physical or virtual mobile device running iOS version 12 or later. So without further ado, let's get into running the sample app. The first step is to clone the sample project. To do so, we'll copy the link given here and paste it onto our terminal. Once we've cloned the repository, the next step is to create a .env file. For that, we'll open up a code editor. And in that, copy this command and paste onto the terminal. Once we've created the .env file, the next step is to modify it. To do so, we'll require a video SDK token. From here on, you have two different options to generate a token. You can either use a temporary token from Video SDK's dashboard or set up your own authentication server to generate one. We at Video SDK believe that for production environment, you must set up an authentication server to generate a new token every time. But for the sake of this example, we'll use a temporary one from Video SDK's dashboard. Under the API key section, you'll find a generate token action. From here, you can choose a time of expiry, and there it is. Our token is ready. Now, you have to take the token and paste it in the .env file. Once that's done, the next step is to install the dependencies. To do so, we'll go into our terminal and write npm install. Once the dependencies are installed, the next step is only applicable if you are setting up for an iOS device. For an iOS device, you need to move into the iOS folder and install the pods. Once your pods are installed, it's now time to run the sample app. You can run this app in either an Android device or an iOS device, but for the sake of this video, we'll run in an Android device. To do so, we'll do npm run android. And there it is, our application up and running. This right here is called the pre-call screen. This screen allows you to enter the meeting with an initial microphone and camera status such as on or off. It also allows you to select an initial audio device and an initial video device. You then have the option to create a meeting or to join an existing one. To create a meeting, you can just select the type of the meeting, enter your name, and that's it. We are in the meeting environment. Here, you have all different kinds of options, such as toggling between microphone on and off or selecting any other audio device. Then you have the option to toggle between camera on and off. You can also chat with other people available in the room. You then have the option to start recording or to start screen share. And you can also view all the participants available in the room. If you want to gain more insights into the session or you simply want to debug it, you can go to the Video SDK's meeting section under which you will find the ongoing session. From here, you have an entire session view, any errors that might have occurred during the session, an overall session stats, and a comprehensive detail of all the participants available in the meeting. That's it for this video. I hope you understood all the concepts. Don't forget to start our repository and share it with other developers in your network. If you have any queries, please reach out to us on our Discord channel. Thank you.